I'm going to show you how to block all calls except for ones that are in your contacts. That way you're not woken up at crazy hours of the night and you can get some sleep because it's always important to make sure we get as much sleep as we can. I'll also show you some other things you could do overnight on the iPhone too. Welcome everybody. I'm Kevin from HelpfulTutorials.net. If you're new here and you like iPhone tutorials, fixes, tips, and app discovery, please do me a favor and smack that subscribe button and give the video a like. I would really appreciate it. Now let's go ahead and just jump in and show you how to go ahead and get this set up so you don't get disturbed at night. The best way to do it is on your phone. Go ahead and choose settings. Once we're in settings, we're going to go ahead and find do not disturb. And we're going to go ahead and select that. It's the moon icon. On some phones, you can even see when do not disturb is turned on at the top right. It may have a moon and sometimes that also stops you from getting phone calls. So in case you have the moon up top and you don't have a newer iPhone, I'm going to go ahead and link another video you could check out that will explain how to fix that so you can get your calls working correctly. With this, here we go. We are in settings under Do Not Disturb. First, we're going to go ahead and turn Do Not Disturb on. Now, let's go ahead and choose that. What that does is it stops people from bothering you. And what we want to do next is choose Scheduled. So these are the times that it would stop. You can click on them and go ahead and edit them just by selecting, we'll say, 11 o'clock and maybe like... 650 <laughs> that's probably good for me uh, so that time I won't be bothered by phone calls except for people in my contacts is how we're setting it up silence you could choose always or while phone is locked the phone's gonna be locked since you're not using it and it's on your nightstand or next to your bed or under your pillow wherever you keep your phone who knows uh, that'll be fine to go ahead and keep it while it's locked Allow phone calls from, this is the important part, you want to select it. You can choose favorites and that's going to be main people on your list. You could choose all contacts, so it's just going to look at your list and make sure it does not stop anybody that is on that list, as long as they're not blocking their phone number, of course. And then you could also choose everyone or no one at the top. I think all contacts would be best for me, but if you just want certain people to be able to contact you in case of a real emergency you may want to go ahead and choose favorites and make sure they are favorited so now we're here you could also choose repeat calls a second call from the same person within three minutes will not be silenced uh, you could turn that on if you would like that way if it's someone calling you and it is an emergency they'll call back a second time and then this time the phone will ring you could also turn that off if you think telemarketers are just going to try twice in a row. That's completely up to you. Here we have Do Not Disturb While Driving. You can go and click on there. If you choose Automatic, that means it's going to automatically not allow them to contact you while you are driving. It's a good idea. Unless you have Bluetooth, then it might be a little different if you have like my car where everything's done on the steering wheel. You go choose do not disturb to go back one and then at the bottom it's going to look and if it is someone from your contacts it's going to go ahead and send them a text message saying I'm driving with do not disturb on so they're aware that you're driving and that you will get back to them when you can. These are the awesome features for do not disturb so you can go ahead and sleep well at night. As a quick bonus in this video I did want to show you one other thing real quick you can go into display and brightness. And there is a night shift mode, which I enjoy too. If you go ahead and choose night shift and go ahead and schedule it. And what this will do is it will turn your phone to be more color temperature oriented. So you can make it more warm or less warm, however you want. Uh, or you could just keep it in the middle. This way it'll go ahead and use less blues. So it's recommended is moving it more towards warm by moving it more warm. The phone is using less colors that are going to mess with your circadian rhythm. And with that, you'll be able to sleep easier at night. So some people put it here and then at that time, you just hold on to it and you can see 
how it is. So it kind of like automatically dims, say at 10 to 750. So for me, I would probably change this. I start trying to go to bed around, I think 1040 would be a good time actually. But let's change that. And 750, I think that's fair. So there we go. At that time, it's going to go ahead and change to a warmer color and I'll know, OK, it's time to get ready for bed and start going. And it'll also help my eyes and help me sleep better. So I just wanted to show you this because most of the time when you do do not disturb, it's going to be using a schedule overnight and so does night shift. You can also pull down from the top right and you will see that moon there that's selected. That is do not disturb. So all you got to do is tap it to turn it off and now I can have people call me again. If I click it, it's only contacts. Unless we have it scheduled like we do, then it's just going to do it in that scheduling time. And you can see at the top right next to my battery percentage, there is a moon showing. So I hope this helped and I want to let you know I do have a tips and tricks video on my website at helpfultutorials.net. It's absolutely free. Check it out if you could. I'd really appreciate it. I put a lot of work into it. Here are some other videos I think you'll enjoy. Thank you for the view.